Hello again and welcome to Games Extreme. I am Stan the Reviewer. Today we are going to be going over Woven, developed by Alter Ego Games. This game is magnificent. Um, hands down, probably the best indie game I've played this year. Um, saying that, um, I've definitely given it a great review. And um, shout out to Alter Ego for allowing us to review this. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into this. This is Stuffy. Stuffy, as you can see, is pretty hurt right now. He fell down a hill in the beginning of the cutscene. Um, Stuffy, he's very curious, very outgoing. Um, but he's a little timid and a little scared sometimes. And as we're about to see, he's going to come across a friend. Um, a friend that, you know, would most likely be an unlikely duo. But together they are brilliant and they make things happen. That is Glitch. Glitch comes in handy so many times I cannot even tell you uh, he operates the sewing the knitting machines um, the music boxes all of that and we'll get into that soon right now Stuffy's gonna you know sing a little song and allow Glitch to wake up Glitch doesn't really understand where he's at and why he's there um, in the beginning it shows a little bit of Glitch being taken from a factory some sort and being dropped off exactly where he was found. Um, he doesn't know if he's good, if he's bad, if what he needs to do, can he do it? So he just decides to go along with Stuffy and start helping him on his way and his adventure. Um, from what I've gathered, basically, Glitch is really fascinated with the moon. And he is trying to get there. And so while trying to get there, him and Stuffy are going to come across many obstacles. These obstacles, you know, they're pretty hard. Some of them are easy. Um, I would recommend this game for adults and children. Um, but if you are a child, you know, I would say over the age of four or five, um, you might need some help. There are a lot of hidden things. Um, for instance, colors, um, you can find 30 different colors in every level. So that, that's a lot of colors. I mean, you got grass green, sky blue, checkered patterns, all of it. Um, they're everywhere. So just look everywhere, look in every inch of this game. Here we have the knitting machine. As the glitch is about to find out, he can find fit in there firmly and he is about to give Stuffy a makeover as if Stuffy were brand new and voila there he is brand new color looking sharper his legs better you can find these knitting machines all through the game they are very vital and they come in handy all the time um you know, as uh, going back to finding colors, um, they were the hardest thing. Um, there's three things to find. Hidden caves, which we're about to find. Um, the color patterns, which can be on hills, trees, or animals. You can scan animals too. And glitches, memory machines. So here we're about to enter the cave. You know, it's saying that Stuffy's a little timid. and But Glitch has a light you know he is kind of like a lightning bug so as we walk in it's going to prompt telling you to light up glitch and there we go we have cave drawings now if you look close enough when i relight this you're going to see all kinds of different things and they're hints by the way so over there back there you got like a deer a pig in an anteater, okay? Those are blueprints that you will find. And then blueprints are going to come from this here music box in front of us. 
It is your job and your duty to complete the sequence of the melodies and tunes. Glitch will slide into the pocket again. And Stuffy will be down below trying to coordinate each hand with the dots. And here we go. So as you can see, he gets the machine going. You're going to start to see met dots. And connecting these dots with these hands are going to create a melody. Um, you cannot hear the melody right now. I do not have the background music on because the narrator talks a lot and it would get in the way. But once upon completion, you will get a blueprint. There's a new blueprint every time. You don't get the same animal. Voila, an ant eater. Now, the biggest difference between the ant eater and the elephant is that the elephant cannot push blocks, right? So you're going to have to go all the way back there to that knitting machine in the back there and reinvent yourself into an ant eater. And this ant eater has different abilities than the elephant. As you go on, you will find different ones as a deer, a pig, um, different blueprints, and they all do different abilities. So you're going to have to switch back and forth from different animals to different animals just so you can progress through the game. Right now, I did not go to the block because Stuffy can't push it. But Stuffy can stomp on the ground and open flowers or drop acorns from trees that you can scan or apples, anything like that if you see it in a tree. So we're prompting the stomp. We stomp. Glitch then scans. Now we have the color purple. And we can add that to any animal figure that we choose. So I'm going to select the anteater head. Then his stomach, his right arm, left, and then finally his feet. Now, it's just my suggestion. This doesn't, you know, if you're an achievement finder or a side mission uh, uh, doer, then like I'm like myself, then you're going to find that going around finding these colors is awesome because they're everywhere, man. I just love the brilliant idea of this whole world being knitted, sewn together and threaded. I mean, this is the most beautiful game and unique game hands down I have played. The world's so creative. Um, I mean, just for the fact that you can take a blueprint of an animal and recreate yourself with a knitting machine, no one's ever done that. And that's why indie games these days are gems. You're not going to find another game like this probably for a while. I mean, Alter Ego Games put a lot into this. Um, I mean, I was blown away. Me and my daughter had fun for hours. It is such... An amazing adventure. Um, you know, this is actually where Stuffy... See these patches right here, okay? For instance, if you were to find a patch, like that blue patch, on a hill or a tree, scan it. Every time you come upon something, Glitch will prompt either to scan, to insert itself, or so on and so on. See, as you can tell, he's prompting. So... This little thing right here are going to be Glitch's memories. And he will start to remember memories as you go on. Um, you know, after he collects all his memories, he can tell a story. Then, therefore, you will know what's happening. Uh, the world is pretty much overrun with metal insects and they are destroying this beautiful woven world and it is up to you and your partner glitch to find the means and the ways to save this world you can create your animal however you like you can have an uh, a pig head you might want ant eater feet and cat paws to do different various things you don't have to keep going back 
you know, it's funny. It's great. It's, 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 it's an enjoyable game, and it takes us away from all the AAA games that we have. And this is something very different. I would very highly recommend getting this game. Giving it a go and checking it out. You can read my review at www.gamesextreme.com. That's G-A-M-E-S-X-T-R-E-M-E.com. There is no E in front of extreme. Gamesextreme.com. And you can also view this video here on our YouTube page. Um, I would just like to thank everybody again for tuning in. We will be coming out with a lot more videos. I hope you enjoyed it. And as for the website, please check it out. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and a follow. And you will be hearing from me again very shortly. And again, I'm Stan the Reviewer. Thank you.